and uh, then the second word that I pick up from your that earlier question is the Hindu uh, government or, or or leaning towards that. My I would rather say a nationalist government. Okay. A government which is led by people or by prime minister whose heart and mind are in the right place because they are thinking only of the good of India. Right. That one point agenda is mm. India. Right. And in a long, long time, I think we haven't had or ever. Not yet for a long time. Yeah. Certainly not after independence. This is the first time since independence we have somebody. So, so the, uh, the, the whatever they are trying to do, two and a half years, Rajiv is a shock time. Mm. And as you know, very humorously he, he says, and we all say that we follow that. Six, you know, you, you want a Hisab Kitab of 65, 70 years now. Right. So let us <laughs> calculate <laughs> all the pros and cons that have happened in all these past decades. Right. And then let's talk. Right. So first I think we should put it in perspective that after independence, there was a great hurry in the Nehruvian era to do things. Hapar dhapar. Kardo. Bakra nangal ho gaya, ye ho gaya, science ho gaya. Very good. Some good, some whatever. In that what happened, they set up these academies. The Sangeet Natak Academy, uh, the Sahitya Academy, the Lalit Kala Academy for painting and visual arts, for literature and for performing arts. And in that, in one basket, they started dumping whatever at that time was available or was seen. 